Hey Leos, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly for December 16th through the 31st. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get started right away because i got cards flying out. So the uh, card that is your overview is Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Your bottom of the deck is Soulmate. You are dealing with a soulmate. So let's see. I think I'll use... I'll use these cards. No, nope, I changed my mind. All right. So let's see what's going on for you, Leos, for the next two weeks. Leo, December 16th through the 31st. Leo's December 16th through the 31st. All messages that come through these cards, please be for the best and greatest good of our Leo viewers. Thank you. All right. Your first card out is the chariot in reverse. So things are being, you're experiencing a delay, Leos. Next card out is justice in reverse. There's a delay in movement, a delay in moving forward. Somebody isn't getting uh, treated the way they, uh-oh, let's see if I can reach that. Yep. Next card out is the Five of Pentacles. Uh-oh, guys, what's going on? The person you are dealing with is the King of Swords in the upright. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, and the Four of Swords. You guys' outcome is the Tower. The Princess of Wands, way too many. <laughs> one more card, please, Spirit. That one popped. The Three of Pentacles. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Seven of Cups in reverse, clarified with the Sun in reverse, and the Alchemist in reverse, which is the Magician. Okay, let me breathe deep because this is some um, this is some energy now. <laughs> okay, so you are narrowing down your options for one. You're dealing with a soulmate here. Um, Obviously, your soulmate card said that, but one in seven for me are soulmates. Uh, your husband, wife, or partners. Um, our house is one in seven in astrology. So um, this card is always uh, a soulmate card for me. But you're eliminating uh, all options except for the one that makes sense. Um, there could be people in your space that are trying to confuse you. They're telling you things about your person or they're telling you things about your situation and they're not true. So be cautious of that because somebody's playing mind games with you outside of your soulmate's energy. Um, the, the things people are telling you, they're not what they're not true. They're trying to deceive the, uh, the situation. So you don't choose them. So you don't go towards them. Um, and something's blocking you from seeing what is going on. Uh, the sun in the reverse is just as positive as the sun in the upright for me. I always read the sun in the upright, but, um, you're going to be illuminated. Your path will be illuminated. Your, whatever you're not seeing or whatever you weren't seeing with the seven of cups, it is going to be clear to you very soon who you can trust and who you can't. Because there are, there is somebody in your space that is not your partner that is trying to fuck your shit up. Pardon my language. Okay. And it's working so far. It's causing delay. It's causing you to pull the reins back and not move forward as fast as what you were or what you should be. Um, so don't be scared. Don't be afraid to tell this person how you really feel because uh, you're holding back right now. Uh, let me get some clarifiers before I go too much further. There's a chariot in reverse here for our Leos. Yeah, you're, you're just about to the end of the cycle with a toxic energy, which is this. Um, 
yeah, and you've you've halted it for some reason um, in putting this putting this burden down and leaving this relationship in the past. Um, this is to do with a divorce or a cutting of ties with somebody. Why is the justice here in reverse? Could be dealing with a Libra or a Cancer, or that's probably you. Yeah, that's you. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, uh, Scorpio. All right, why is justice here in reverse? And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So you're holding on tight to something. You're holding on tight to someone um, that's toxic for you. And this relationship has just overall been an, a burden. Um, you're holding back on uh, leaving this person or severing ties with this person because uh, of financial reasons, financial issues that you're dealing with. Because you do have the five of uh, pentacles here. So you are facing some financial um problems or uh that you could like have lost a job recently and so now you're kind of depending on this person financially um and it's it your heart is broken over this you are very sad over uh over this job you lost you're feeling stuck now you're feeling out of control like now what am i going to do uh, or not out of control but you feel like you don't have any control or any say in the relationship because you feel like you're stuck there because of financial issues. Um, yeah, you're really sad over that. Let's see what else we got here. Why is the king of swords here? So your person. Yeah. Your person is um, making decisions. They are now finally taking action. They're cutting themselves away from the situation so they can retreat and heal. Um, the chariot moves from the tower into the star card so they can heal. And the partner that is waiting on you to leave this person or to get a divorce from this toxic relationship is tired of waiting. They are cutting themselves away from the situation so that they can move forward and heal. This could be an Aquarius for some of you. Um, or it's going to happen in the time of Aquarius. Which is the end of January, beginning of February. Um, and divine timing is also at work here. The stars will align during that time. It's It breaks their heart to have to leave. It breaks their heart. It They felt like this was real. This was the Ten of Cups. This is what you were going to give them. And... Um, yeah, and it just ended up being something that they feel they were cheated on. They were or cheated from. They knew you had another partner, but they were under the impression that you were leaving that person. And that's why you were in the chariot. But now all of a sudden the chariot halted. This person that is in your energy that is making you so confused, um, this is a current partner that you are married to or a long-term commitment with. They are the one that is filling your head about your soulmate. They are the one that's filling your head with, their head with doubt. Um, they could be telling you that they're the one that's lying to you. They're the one that's deceiving you. They're the one that's cheating on you when really it's them. They're the one that's lying to you. They're the one that's manipulating you, playing mind games. And it's causing you to halt that chariot and not move towards your soulmate and stay stuck in that relationship with them because they don't want a, a separation from you. They don't want this divorce. They want a new beginning, but a new beginning will not be granted to them. Um, and it breaks your heart to hear this information about your soulmate, but it's not true. Um, and you're also financially dependent on this other person, or you think you are. And so it's holding you back. So your person, your soulmate is moving forward or moving on from this relationship. They're cutting themselves away from the hurt because they feel that, you deceive them by not moving towards them, by not giving them this Ten of Cups. And they don't want to be a part of that anymore. They don't want to be a secret. They don't want to be uh, only get to see you in the dark or, you know, sneaking away, sneaking away from everybody. They want to show their love and affection out in public, out in the daylight. Um, and they just really feel like you deceived them. So they are moving towards the star to heal. Their last card is a four of 
swords. So more healing for them. Um, you see the swords are over their heart and head. Th those are the wounds that they are healing in their heart and mind. And down here is the sword of clarity, the sword of truth. So they are in this time of healing, they are going to get the truth and clarity they need to, and to heal their mind and soul and heart. So, uh, why is the four swords here? Yeah. So they can move forward in their life with passion, conviction, uh, a new breath of fresh air, uh, offer some, a new beginning to whether it's you or them, uh, or you or somebody else. It depends on what you do with this current situation that you are in with your partner, but this is going to shake you up. Your soulmate leaving. Oh, my nose started itching really bad. This is going to shake you up. This is going to rattle you uh, because you really care about the soulmate. You really love them and you thought they would never leave. You thought they would stick th with you through all this, but they can't do it anymore. They've waited too long and they feel like you let them down. They have to remove themselves from the situation to heal. And that that is really, um, really shaking you up. Oh my goodness. The four of wands is <laughs> that card if I can't reach it. Nope, I reached it. <laughs> that went like way behind there. Okay. So it's shaking you up because you thought this person would always be there to offer you stability. They were your rock when you were trying to break free from this toxicity of the devil. Um, they were the one that, that helped you get through it. They were the one that provided you support and, and a foundation to uh, look forward to. And now that they're delivering this tower and letting you know they're moving on because you're not breaking away from a commitment that you're already committed to. Um, it's really uh, shaking you up. And this is to do with the shared energy. They're no longer going to sit and wait while you feed into your marriage or your commitment that you told them you were breaking free from. There's a three of pentacles here. Yeah, the nine of cups. They're moving forward to be single. Um, they wished you would have invested in them. They wished that you would have came forward and, and gave them what you promised, but they're moving forward and being single now. Um, they are, they are, um, letting you know this. they are sending you the message that they are because you, um, because you did not end this commitment that you're currently in that they're they can no longer be in this it's just fuel to the fire they're they can't sit here and watch you invest in somebody else at this time and obviously this can be vice versa if you are the cancer waiting on somebody um the energies are fluid they are vice versa but this this person that is waiting on you has seen the truth they have gained clarity and they're moving forward because they're going to escape this constant battle with you to um, end this commitment that you're in. They're tired of the secrets, the juggling. They're going to work on themselves now. Yeah. So cancer, I guess it's up to you or if you're a cross watcher, if you're the one that has the two parties, um, if you don't want to lose this soulmate, uh, you better move forward quick because you're going to be heartbroken by this. You're going to experience this if you don't release yourself from one of these in, uh, energies. All right. Because this is here for you. The four of wands with your soulmate is here for you, but you have to take action to, to receive this. It's not just handed out to you. You have to take action and put in the work. If you want that stability, a solid foundation does not um, get built on hopes and wishes. You actually have to put in the work. You have to lay block by block um, and build this with this person. They can't build it without you. So you really have to start investing um, in the right person. Okay. The, your card of advice, the shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. So what this is saying is um, in your current energy, there is possibility somebody who is manipulating you. Um, 
So it's time to take a step towards the right direction and really look at your surroundings. Look at what is going on with you guys. And uh, yeah, Leos, you just really need to, to, um, I think I kept saying cancer, didn't I? I think it's because I was looking at the chariot card. I apologize if I was, or you could be dealing with a cancer who's doing this, but this is for Leos. Um, it's time to, uh, face those fears. Don't let your insecurities get the best of you. Um, because you're sabotaging your own happiness. You're sabotaging your own future with a soulmate who is here and waiting for you. But, but you're dealing with someone who's manipulating you and tricking you into staying in a current situation. Um, and, and really putting a rift between you and your actual soulmate. So, it's time to take a look around to uh, to really find the truth, to find the uh, find the strength to lay this toxic relationship to rest because it's not doing you any favors and it's causing your soulmate to go in the other direction. Like I said, Leos, if this is not you or if this is your person doing this to you. Um, then it's time to move forward if they're not going to uh, turn this chariot around and move in your direction. It's time for you to express how you feel, to let them know what it is that is bothering you, why it's bothering you, and what the consequences will be if they don't move in the direction of um, justice, of a fair and balanced relationship, an equal energetic exchange without the third person. The balancing scales only has two sides. There's no room for three in this equation. So Leo, stay strong. If you are dealing with that, if you're the one with the third party, um, stay strong and, and escape that toxic energy because your true soulmate is here for you, but you have to acknowledge it and move towards it if you want it. So, all right, Leos, I hope you have an excellent next two weeks and I will see you next time. I send you all healing energy, love, light, and God bless.